mini PC, the G31. This one runs an Intel chip, Celeron Quad Core. I give you more. It comes with the 4 GB or DDR RAM 3, 128 gig SSD drive, number entire memory express. Oh, that's real good. And you can install, it comes with a SATA port, so you can install even a hard drive in this box. And it comes with Windows 10 pre installed. Pretty simple, takes about 20 minutes. So you're done. You, beautiful to put a set room right in the back of your display, so you got a PC running or oh, right in your TV. So now you can use this uh, movie player or running maybe a subplex server or a torrent server or any kind of server. Or you can run delete everything and run a uh, Unix on this thing. Nice. So let me show you this right now. How are we doing, everyone? This is Dario from Media Box ENT, and let me show you this box right now. All right, so the G31N. And look some of the specification. This one runs in Celeron 3160 processor, a 2 megabyte cache, and a 2.4 gigahertz up to, and the graphics card is the Intel 400. Nice, right? DDR3, 4 gigabyte. So we got number of tire memory press 120 gigs means you can change and put something else there. And it comes with a nice uh, SDD drive connector. So now you can put your hard drive. It comes with a dual band, HDMI, RJ45, 12 volts, and you got also VGA and HDMI. Simple. And Windows 10 pre-installed already there. That's pretty simple. It takes about maybe 20 minutes of normal installation. They ask you only a few questions, the name do you want to call the PC, uh, username, if you want to use the online version, or if you want to just... So, we have the PC there, let me show you what else we got in here. So we got the HDMI cable, the power supply, we're going to need it so we can install it. So, to mount, right in the back of the TV, and to mount the hard drives, we're going to do that too, right over here. Simple instructions how to do it. So, real nice. It's small, right? So, right this side, USB 3.0, you want to put some more hard drive there. Micro SD card to play movies, whatever you want from there. Power. VGA. Uh, audio output. So, here we have the RJ45 HDMI 2.0 USB. Power. Turn it on. And reset. Now, run the size and I removed the screw so much easier for me to open. So, we got the number of time memory express. So, we can see right there 120 gig. So, if you want to upgrade for uh, 500 gigs, you can take this memory out and put up 500 gigabyte real fast. Here we see the model. So, when I end up put the screw back. Now, run the size. Is that where it goes to hard drive? Check this out. Take this cover out. That was pretty clever though. This is the first time I see one of these ones this way. You gotta do a little pression. That's it, look. Now you can put the hard drive. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna install the drive, the connection, SATA connection, right there. Let's grab the cover. But now we're going to install uh, only two. That's perfect. And we're going to put it back the same way. You can put even a uh, two terabytes there. So you can load all your MP3s. Or use it as a regular PC. Actually for us, we're going to be using this as a regular PC. So we're going to turn it on. It's on there. Click once, but we need to turn it on. Yeah, and I guess it's coming on now. Now, the beauty of this, what you need to do, in my case, what I did, I installed TeamViewer, and it makes it simple and easy for me to control this box. That's why I'm not going to connect anything else, because I'm gonna, for now, I control this 
to TeamViewer. Eventually, we'll hook up a keyboard and we'll hook up this in Mandalore. But let me show you. I'm going to change the screen so you guys can see. All right, so now you see my virtual screen. What I did, I hook up my uh, TeamViewer. This is perfect if you guys want to run it like in a, a survey mode, if you want to run like a Tornet or any other type of software. So you can put this right in your closet and from any PC, from your cell phone, you can control the box. And it's running Windows 10. It moves very fast. And no delays. And I'm running, you know, in a virtual screen. It's not really hooked up. If that will be even will be faster, right? And if it is real time displayed to my screen. And we can see here the G31 and run the, the Intel Xeron. We say the J3160. And right now it's running upon 166 hertz. We see the memory. 4 gigabyte 64 bit windows and the only thing i did was just a few questions if you did set up a windows 10 before a few simple questions yes or no put your username and your password and you're done make sure you run the update they run the update so it's, it's right now that's running the latest version so let's check now the drive that already installed so let's go into my pc and we can see my D drive, 128 gig. Uh, this one is the one I installed, the SATA drive. This is done, uh, non volatile memory express, 128 gig. So, as you see, it's a simple PC to install. Only takes a few minutes uh, to get this thing running. And you can put it in the closet on the back of the TV. Actually, this one will be used as a PC. We're going to put it right in the back of uh, the display. We need to buy a second display now and hook up this. But perfect, it will be perfect uh, to run as a mini server, uh, especially if you want to run your torrents. Make sure you run a VPN and, and you're done. Now, guys, to get more information, to get one of these uh, nice uh, mini PC, check the link below. Thank you.